Hey everybody, welcome. Welcome to the next video. This is the new video of the new section in which we are going to learn about uh, how to install MySQL, how to install PHP and how to install Apache. Um, so let's get started. So first of all, we are going to install Apache. But before that, we are going to update our repository. So we will write here update and it, it is going to ask me for the password. And once I enter my password, it is going to update, you know, everything. And once it is updated, then you can, uh, you know, download, you can run command and obviously you can download and run and install the softwares that you want. Okay. So right now we're going to write here sudo apt get install Apache 2. Okay. So you hit enter and it. You know my apache 2 has already been been installed so it has taken less time but less time but if you're installing it for the first time then obviously it is going to take more and more time so now let's try to install php so for php this is the command that we are going to use okay this is a quite long command because if you just write here sudo apt get install uh, php or php5 that command has gone obsolete so that won't really work so this is the command that you need to use okay so i'll try to uh, paste you know this file along with this video in the course somewhere so make sure that you find it and you copy it from there even if you don't find it just pause the video and you know note this command and write it down okay so just copy it i'm just gonna copy it i'm just gonna paste it and then when i I hit enter it starts to install PHP I hit Y which is for yes and now it has started to install PHP on my system okay so once it installs PHP uh, you know until then until then um, we check our Apache 2 servers so how do we check that uh, we go to localhost and you can see that our Apache 2 server is up and running and it is installed okay so here you can see it is still installing PHP so we'll wait okay so once you have done that so now what you are gonna do that you are going to um, write here uh, something to check if PHP is installed successfully or not so what you're gonna do uh, that you're gonna write this command okay let's try writing this here we go here we paste it but before pasting we clear it we paste this command remember that I'm gonna attach the file somewhere where I'm gonna just uh, put these commands in but even if you don't find that file even if i'm unable to attach you can just simply pause the video and you can copy this command and just hit enter and you can say that, see that it has printed out that your php installation is working fine obviously the php has been installed and our php is working fine okay so now we need to install the mysql server so in order to install mysql server what we would do we'd write here sudo apt get install mysql server so we hit enter and you can see that it has started to install it we hit y and uh, you know it starts to install so now um after the installation part is uh, completed uh i'd show you that how we can actually test if mysql server is working how can we create the database and how can we view that if the database has been created or not and then after that i'm going to show you that how can you install php my admin on your system okay so we shall wait Okay, so now after running the command sudo mysql negative u root negative p or hyphen p, uh, what I am going to do is that I'm going to write here 
create database as test db let's say let's call it put a semicolon i hit enter it says query okay one row affected so now if i write here show databases you can see that here we have a test db as well okay okay so now what we are going to do that we are going to install php my admin for that i'm going to write here sudo apt get install php my admin okay i hit enter it asks me for the password because of sudo and now if i press y it starts to install php my admin so once it installs php my admin we are all done all right So now it is basically um, asking to configure the PHP my admin. So we will keep Apache 2 as our server. We'd hit OK and then it would, you know, keep on processing the installation. Okay, so after that, it is asking configure database for PHP my admin with DB config common. So you need to press yes here. So now here, MySQL application password for PHP my admin. So here you can put in your password. Okay. And you can confirm the password. Okay, so that's how you basically install uh, Apache 2, PHP, MySQL and PHP MyAdmin. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. Um, you have learned something new. I will see you in the next video.